Wow. Do this. Let's so, do this. I'm ready. All right, guys. On three. Where's my Lonnie? One, two, three. Hi. Hi. Welcome, you guys, to another episode of Be, Be uplifted. uplifted. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Just us three today. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lonnie, babes. Had to sit this one out. Yeah. Sending love to her. Yep, yep. So, today is a very... Special day. Special day. Well, yesterday was really the special day, but today is a special day for filming. Scorpio gang, what a... Scorpio hope. season. Pew, 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 pew. Yep. yep. So, you guys already know we celebrated Rich, so that could only On mean... On time. <laughs> wow. Right on time. Oh, in that That's case, happy true. birthday, Jasmine. <laughs> That's true. Happy birthday, Jasmine. Shout out to Jasmine. Yep. Um, what was I saying? I told it a brain fart. Sorry, See? guys. Think. <laughs> when you forgot something, it had to be me. <laughs> I'm seeing a new theme happening here on Be Uplifted. Okay. So, yesterday was your birthday. Happy mm-hmm. birthday. Thank you. How do All you right. feel? How old are you? I am... 43. Damn. Wow. Mm-hmm. We're getting up there in age, guys. We're getting up there. Wow. That clip that we clipped for the get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that made us all really old. Yeah, and a lot of people enjoyed it. <laughs> when we went to Pacers today, oh yeah, a couple people with Vince, and then when I wasn't with Vince, were like, dude, that clip you posted had me dying. <laughs> and I was like, which one? They're all, you know, the get. get. <laughs> <laughs> Even Brian was like, I don't get it. And I was like, I didn't even fucking get it either. Okay, so did you see the comment? I don't know if it was on TikTok or... So this guy, just like, it, that's what it is. He's, he's like, it's basically like going goddamn, but you go goddamn like that. Uh, so that's what it stands for. It's like, god, like that. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't... Know. It was on TikTok? So, no, someone commented on what it means on one oh. of our... Oh, I thought it was because the way that you were spelling it, G-Y-A-T, I thought it was, God, your ass thick. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. I mean, Maybe. I, I mean, you know, who, who knows, you know, <laughs> who knows? Like who fucking started These it? These kids right now, but their that acronyms. Makes sense. That does make sense. I just made it up. Yeah, I'm nice. pretty sure. Yeah. We're going to go with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one sounds smarter. <laughs> Get. Okay. All right. So today's your birthday. And in very much birthday theme that we've decided on doing this year. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, we have a holiday theme. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, and thanks to our wonderful set designers. Mm-hmm. That would be these guys right here. That would just be Rich, actually. <laughs> this, this guy. Yeah. He provides the space, though, and then he does the design. So, these right. guys. Yeah. <coughs> I almost killed myself trying to get that off from the top shelf. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> special love for this guy, okay? The well, you're going to have cracker. to put it back up there because I am scared of heights. Yeah, it's the nutcracker. You almost cracked your nuts? Yes. Damn. It was special for Lee for Vince, the nutcracker. Mm-hmm. So we decided, if you're down for your birthday, we'd grill you a little bit. Nice. So if I say no, this is a really short episode, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's and, do it. And, and episode right now. Yep. But are you really, really down? Like, if we ask you some deep questions, <sighs> I'm down. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have you start. No, no, you start because you, you you have the list. Okay. Okay. You, she has a she had a list that, a she, list? that that I wasn't blessed with. I sent it to you. Oh. You, you, did you? Right yeah, now. you know the chat that you guys left me out of. Well, you know that was your birthday chat. You're you're not privy to. Similar to, uh, wasn't there like a birthday chat for me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like yeah, important but. information wasn't left out of that. <laughs> 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 like, why is there only three people here? <laughs> Still confused on that one. <laughs> well, <laughs> damn, yeah. we even have someone out for Vince's birthday. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> this is why, okay, to my defense, this is why I was pushing for Friday because I'm like, maybe Lonnie shouldn't be left out because then it's not really the full celebration. Oh. And I would have the day off and we wouldn't have to be here <laughs> late. And mm-hmm. it's, it's all your fault. I'm blaming you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Alrighty. So we'll start easy. Oh, good. Math. We'll start easy. So first one is going to be what are you grateful for this year on your birthday? I'm grateful for all of my friends and my family. I'm I'm glad that uh I think that that I've been able to help people out. Yeah. So yeah. That grateful to have the means to be able to do that. Yeah. Now let me ask you that is it is more special 
the the people in your life is 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 it more special the guy the people that remembered your birthday early in the morning wow <laughs> yeah fun. without having to check the group text yeah <laughs> i did not have to check the group text i oh, texted clearly you. because you, like it went on for a long time before you text me at <laughs> night well that's when i had free time so i texted you <laughs> i make time for you vince thank you I didn't even text you personally on your birthday, so um. you're still a step, a step ahead of <laughs> Rich. My birthday stream, my birthday filming was an entirely surprise. To my defense, my son's birthday was on October 28th, and he still asked me, Mommy, where's my birthday post? I was like, mm, it's coming. Nice. <laughs> wow. I'm really bad about posting. I used to be, like, religious about it, like, on I, the birthday. You, post. Know you, you know you could schedule those. I didn't I, post. On my birthday. Well, I think I posted something, but it wasn't birthday related. Like, except for the um, the one where I called you guys out. Mm-hmm. But as far as like people that were sending me messages and you stuff like that, it. I didn't repost it. Oh, yeah. Why? It was for me. I know, but maybe to show like... Who remembered. Yeah. Yeah. I replied to them and I was like, thank you. Okay. It didn't take long. It was, both of them got the message right away. You didn't reply to me, right you just said like... Like, I just yeah. got, like, a thumbs up. Well, I got a thank you, but apparently it wasn't real because he's mad that it was late, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, guys. You're still ahead well, of my son. I still haven't greeted him on. <laughs> to my defense, that my, my, my Instagram post was a little delayed because I was waiting for the Be Uplifted one. Yeah. To my defense. Then I was like, well, n- that's never going to happen, so I went ahead and. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> did I post for you on your birthday? Oh, we did. <laughs> I was... <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. No, no we, we didn't. didn't. No, you didn't. Whatever. Neither one of you posted for uh, me and Lonnie on our birthday this past year. Yeah. You guys had birthdays this year? <laughs> wow. All right. We're they, even, guys. They okay. Nev- they never age. Okay. This is the beauty of this relationship is we all really don't give a fuck. So <laughs> we're all good, guys. Okay. 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 So next okay. question. Okay. Next question. Are you asking? Or I no, you. Okay. Just pick some. Oh. There's so many. <laughs> what have you learned since your last birthday? Um, the effects of global shutter on um on cameras. Uh, mm. P to Z um controllers. Nice. Um, what else? Uh, Do you I know what clip, he's talking about? I, I did a three click uh flare. Um, a three click flare. Yeah. What's the, all of these I things? I can't even do saying? a one click flare. Is this on DJing? Yeah. That was a DJing. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, How about in life? Have you learned anything? I was alive for all of those. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. Those were life lessons. Got it. Yeah, I don't know. I I think what else did I learn? I learned that I'm not good. At learning women. <laughs> <laughs> That's been established. We'll, we'll get to that yeah. one later. Okay. I was trying to find a, a, bu- a book about gaslighting. <laughs> oh, I've been getting better at gaslighting. <laughs> I was looking for a book on horoscopes. Really? There was so many of them. Oh, really? And I was like, fuck. <coughs> God damn. I couldn't find one. I was like, all I could find was like, like quotes, you know, but like yeah. not like actual books because i wanted to gift you a book about gaslighting <laughs> just to be <laughs> ironic and sarcastic nice <clears throat> so By the way i did love i love the gift the gifts oh, yeah. i love the gifts good job queer rich yeah. so it's right there guys well part of it what do you hope to accomplish by your next birthday do world you have domination any? okay um uh i think if I could, if I could accomplish anything, it would be to replicate what I have done. So, like, if if there's somebody that has been shooting here at the studio, and they're thinking about starting their own studio, hopefully I can help them start their own. Or um, if they've been taking lessons from me in photography, hopefully they can become more independent. Um, yeah, that's a good goal. I like that. I should, I should pay attention. Yeah, yeah I think I'm. Boring all of you guys. No. no, no, no. Okay, so yeah. I, I'm down to ask some. Um, I have some some deeper questions. Yeah, these too. are all vanilla. Okay. Oh. So Nobody cares let, about my life. I care about your life. Okay, so let's let's have the the listeners get to know you a little bit deeper. Okay. Deeper. What is your favorite color? Black. What is your favorite thing to eat? Um. Pussy. <laughs> Mikey's meals? Oh no. Uh 
Babes 10. <laughs> yeah. He talks about it being vanilla and gives us vanilla answers. I know. Well, I mean, you're asking me vanilla ass questions. What's your favorite thing favorite, to eat? Favorite thing to eat. I'm, oh, I'm you know my what? Way in there. You know what? I don't. It's not my favorite, but I always crave it is um, uh, chimichangas. Like real chimichangas. Not, not the shit that you buy and then you microwave in the thing. From like an actual yeah. Mexican restaurant. Yeah, when they deep fry that shit, oh, it's bomb. That's true. I just have to have them leave the cheese and stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your first memory that you can recall. Your first fondest memory. Mm, like going being back. born? No, you don't remember that. Do you remember coming out of your mom's vagina? Yeah, I remember it was a C-section. Oh, you remember like coming out of the tummy? <laughs> the <Yeah>. light. <laughs> the light? Well, it was before that. I was still waiting. That's why it was a C-section. Um, C? Yep. <laughs> what was uh my fondest like good memory? Yeah. Let's see. Rich texts me on my birthday on time, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> wow. No, uh, I don't. I. It, okay, so it wasn't super back then, but my, my favorite memory is when a couple, when a couple's parents called me uh, crying because the wedding that I shot for them, um, both the bride and the groom uh, had Down syndrome. And the photographer that was going, that was booked for their, for their wedding, they backed out mm -hmm. because they were doing it for like, um, it, w it was supposed to be a, a free photo shoot, right? Or a free, uh, wedding event. And they're like, well, I can't use this in my portfolio. And so he backed out and then they reached out to me. <gasps> it's fucked up. And so I was like, oh, I'd love to do it. And then like, um, when I transferred everything to them, uh, the mother of the of the groom called me and she was like already crying and she was like, I've never seen pictures of our kids so happy and so beautiful and everything mm. like that. So that was, that was pretty cool. I think that that was the most rewarding thing that I've ever done for. How could you not use that in your portfolio though? That's so crazy. I'm no, me. I mean like, you know, the, the other photographer, I don't know who they were, but, um, well, fuck that photographer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves a day in hell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Space. I mean, I'm still going to see him there, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me, yeah. I'm the one that shot the photo. Mm -mm, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> yeah, when I die and I'm looking up at you guys, I hope that you guys continue to do good. Wow. wow. I'll be in purgatory. I'll be halfway. Right? That's same. Uh, I'll be like, yeah. Rich, what do you got to do to get up there? <laughs> Wait, does that count as a good memory? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you have a question? Because I'm going to start asking hard questions. No, go too. ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'll so. I'll piggyback on your hard questions. <gasps> With the memory thing, let's let's dig a little bit deeper on where this Vince trauma comes from. <laughs> wow, the, okay. tra the trauma. Let's what see. what is what is the most vivid, like painful memory that you can recall, if you're willing to share? Uh, emotionally or physically? Uh, let's do physically first. Physically. Um, I think. Oh, so when I was younger, uh, I was like in fourth grade or something like that. I was riding on the handlebars with my uh, with my uh, next door neighbor. We were coming home from school, and <laughs> my shoe fell off. Donald, you'll remember this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Donald, yeah. if you're watching. Donald, you'll remember this. So my shoe fell off. I was like, oh, shit, my shoe. And he slammed on the brakes. Well, he was holding onto the handlebars, and um, what's it called? Uh the handlebar slipped and these handlebars were loose. So, so I fell, he went forward. It, the handlebars, f the handlebars fell forward and I n like, I landed with my crotch on the uh, wheel yeah. and he didn't stop right away. Ow. And so Ow. he not only, not only did my balls hit the, the wheel, he also ran me over. So, wow. That's why his asshole still ribbed. Damn. Yep. That sounds painful as fuck. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't even have balls, you know? And I'm just imagining that, like, s like something, like, fucking crushing you like down it, there. It's not about your balls at that and point. And the burning and the butthole and, and everything. Yeah, your, your chest and your face. Just everything. It's your whole hand. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Just all the pain. <laughs> okay, emotional. Go. 
Emotional. Um, I think the the worst emotional one was when I was with my ex and she was blaming me for a bunch of things that I wasn't doing wrong mm-hmm. and I was trying my best to do something wrong and, and the to fact do something wrong? Or I'm sorry, to do to to do right. Oh, okay. And that whole time I was uh I was really confused as why she was upset with me. So did no. you ever come to an understanding later or do you still reflect on that and wonder like what did I do wrong? Uh I think just being with her was wrong. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel like you grew from that though? I think so. That's good. Yeah, I learned how to turn off my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it was really cool because like the whole time leading up to it, like th- when when we were first together everything was um you know, it was all like honeymoon phase and then she was having a hard, a hardship. So I let her live with me and then her family was having a hardship where she wanted to get custody of her brother because he was, uh, he was disabled mm-hmm. and it was hard for her parents to take care of him. So, uh, because she was getting like assistance, she wanted to get the, uh, the custody. Mm-hmm. So, so she would get the financial assistance and then from that we got an apartment together, mm-hmm. so she would be able to watch her kid or her her brother. Mm-hmm. And um, <coughs> yeah, after a while, I was I was taking care of him. I was taking care of her, uh, and then things just started going south. Where she would just start blaming me for stuff and everything, and then I was really confused, and it was really hurtful. You know, like like trying to do good the whole time and then not being good enough yeah um but eventually i found out that she was cheating on me oh. and yeah after that i just turned everything off i was just like oh i have i have no more emotions and then i told my boss i was like hey this sucks can can i go home for a little bit because my girlfriend's cheating on me he's all oh dude just take the day off i'll pay you for the rest of the day take the van get your shit get out of there i was like good deal so I, I went home from work with the company van. I loaded it up, and then I just left. And that was the end of it? That was it, yeah. Did you ever speak to her again after that? Yeah, she still had a couple of my things. Okay. Um, and then her, 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 um, both of her parents and an iPad were on my T-Mobile bill. And Damn, that's a lot of connection yeah. right there. Yeah, and it was, it, she wouldn't give me the phones back. She wouldn't let me transfer them under her name. Um, yeah, so it was like, it was about six months that I was paying full on like six. Damn. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. And then eventually I had enough money to like put all of their phones on hold Mm -hmm. and then claim them as stolen and then get the insurance claim. And then the insurance phones that I got, uh, I returned to T-Mobile and I was finally able to cancel it. Dang that whole ass process just to fucking not pay for. Oh no. Yeah. That sucks. Do you recall your first heartbreak that you've ever experienced? If so, do tell. I don't I don't know. That I think I think my first heartbreak was um when my daughter's mom left. And that was I think the hardest thing with that was the fact that my daughter was gone. Mm. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. That's always a the hardest thing. I don't I don't think any heartbreak actually surpasses that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I loved my my daughter's mom. Yeah. You know, I loved my ex-wife, you know, mm-hmm. and and I wish that we could have worked things out. I think th- things worked out better that we did separate. Mm-hmm. But at the time, like those two are my world, you know. Yeah. So that that sucked. Um but I did get to see she wasn't I did get to see my daughter a lot, so. Uh, so you guys were good at co-parenting. At yeah, least. that's good. Yeah. That's important. Mm-hmm. That's really important. Do you think that the ability to just shut off emotions eventually just becomes a crutch? Because I know it has it, it, it. I do it a lot too, where shutting off emotion it just makes it so much easier than actually facing the problem. I feel. Like, I feel like a lot of men do that because they're taught that. You know. Yeah, I do that a lot. Like, I don't think that it. I don't think that it actually has had any negative 
I don't know. I I only see things from my way, so so it's hard for me to reflect on myself when I haven't really like reflected. You know what I mean? Like I see something that works, and I'm just like, all right, cool, I'll do that. So, in these relationships, these heartbreaks, and I think that's why we're so interested to pick his brain, right? Because of his outlook on women. Yeah. Do you feel like, or not? Do you feel? Did they? Did they? Any of them say something similar, like of why they left you or what their complaints were about you? Like, were were there anything that was like said multiple times? Like, you know, you you don't communicate enough, or your flaw is that you hide your emotions. Like, did anybody ever share those thoughts with you, where you were like, hmm, that's been told to me a few times? I'd say that I'll, there's been a lot of times where the things that attract the girls to me are the things that drive them away. Um, whereas they'll say, you're so funny. And then is everything a joke to you? Right. Or, Mm -hmm. um, it's awesome dating somebody that does photography. And then later on, it's like, why do you have to spend so much time with these models? Or I like that you get me into the clubs. Then later it's like, you're always, always, (laughs) you're always DJing. You're always out late. You're always, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and it just it, it sucks because like the whole time I'm following my passions and and I don't really I I choose to to prioritize like the wants and needs of of my significant other, but I I don't think that I've ever lost sight of who I wanted to be fully. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So would you say that you've never fully processed a heartbreak? I th- I think that in in a lot of the cases I've I've seen it coming so I prepare myself before it actually goes because I've I've noticed that girls are a lot like um monkeys swinging on a vine they're not going to let go of one vine until they grab another branch or another vine like a, a, as in a guy Yeah interesting Like think of how many guys girls tell their significant other or their boyfriends not to worry about and then later on ter- end up being with that guy no, I've seen that happen. You know what As I'm a saying? female, I can, I can still yeah. agree with and that. I, yeah, and I think that it happens with guys, too. Yeah. Like, I think, but I, I 100% think that it happens more often with girls. Mm-hmm. If you were to be asked to, like, sit and process your heartbreaks and your emotions, would you say that, like, would, would there be anything that you could say that you wish you did differently? In hindsight, like, you know... Now that that relationship is over and now that I am where I am now, I wish I had done this differently. Not to say that you want to be in that relationship again, but just lessons learned, basically. Mm, I think that there's a lot of simp shit that I've done. Like, there was there was this one girl, and, and we're good friends, so, um, you know, I, I don't mind <coughs> talking about it. Um, she... She she was a really good girlfriend, but then I know that we're we were getting to the point where we're splitting up, and and I was just like ah whatever, but I was thinking okay I also don't want to lose her, knowing that I could have done more, so I still kept all of my promises to her even though I felt that we were breaking up already I I still like you know, got her the pre release Jordans I I paid for her to do a trip and stuff like that so. So even though looking back and if I if I were to reflect on like my younger self now I would be like dude don't do some simp ass shit but at the same time looking back I know that I did my best so it wasn't for a lack of trying okay you know so I I can't look back and and just be like um yeah I wish I did this differently cuz honestly I don't take anything back no matter how much back it set me financially I still have that peace of mind that I can't buy I get that because even with my ex, I remember saying the same thing to him. Like, yeah. I was like, you know, at least I can walk away from this knowing that I gave it yeah. everything I had. Like, yeah. I threw everything at it, whether it was therapy, trying again, forgiving mm-hmm. you, you know, doing sweet shit. Like, I, I gave it 120%. So, I, I, totally, I totally understand that mentality. Yeah. Do you have any questions, Quia? Yeah. Well, away from this fucking interrogation. Happy birthday, Liz. Happy birthday, Liz. Happy birthday, Liz. Just had a guest pop up. You want to come and say hi? They're, she said nope. Inter- <laughs> you know what? We have a interrogating seat. me. Yeah. Some deep. Some deep. deep. Well, here it is. So we're, let's get past the whole sadness part. Yeah. I want to know if there's room because I know you guys asked me this on mine. 
that was coming. Yeah, so yes, is, go is, ahead. Is there room now for somebody? Because I know you've been single for quite a while, not as long as I have, right? But is there is there room? So I'm not gonna say that there's room, but I'm gonna say that there's no um, pushback. Like I'm I'm open to it. Like right. before, um, you know how I left. Like another thing, I was so pissed because I was supposed to go to the gym with uh with Christine, mm-hmm. which I ended up going. Mm-hmm. But then like we missed our sauna time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't get to do our our full on workout and everything like that. So I was a little bummed on that, but. Like, if things happen between me or somebody that's compatible with me, which I'm only, only bringing her up because she never watches this podcast, <laughs> um, uh, then, then cool. I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to be, like, just walking around with a cross or some right. shit like that. Yeah, this is. That's or here, you want, you want to put me on blast here? I'll say somebody that, that might watch this. If, if, if for some reason... Me and Sue's were uh, compatible. My, yeah, your Sue's. My yeah. Sue's? Okay. Yeah. Well, no, no, technically. Okay. Well, like, not my. Not his, his Sue's. Sue's. Yeah. Another podcast with him, Sue's. Yeah. There yes, we go. Yes. 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 There yeah, we go. If, things, if, if things were to click with us, because physically she's exactly what I want. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, enthusiastically, I think she's exactly what I want. But um, we do... We do need to grow together. Mm-hmm. I don't think that we're 100% compatible. Like, I, I think if we went on a date, it would suck. Really? But I think really? if we got, I, I think if we um got to know each other more, it could be a great date. But that's how you get to know each other. Though. No, I mean, hanging a, out and going on a date are two different things. Like, I've hung out with her, but that wasn't a date. Not a formal date. Basically. Yeah. Oh, so so you, you prefer, like, okay, like, get to know her, like, hang out, like, at the gym or... yeah. Uh, there's no pressure like we drive separate cars if she gets bored of me she can leave if i get bored of her i can leave if um right. you know we, we is pay this for his whole like remember he does the research before even deciding yeah, to talk to a girl well no, no i'm saying because like okay like if even if i was gonna be friends with a girl mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'd probably offer to drive anyway Cause just because i know that there could be that chance mm-hmm. so you want to lay the the groundwork like i wouldn't say i'm trying mm-hmm. yeah. you know what i'm saying like yeah. i want to i want to say I'm trying, not like where some like call me kuya or whatever, like you know, like a friend. After mm-hmm. you already kind of put my foot forward, like yeah, we're kind of hanging out, but there's an interest there, right? Yeah. So yeah, putting myself on blast, I'll I'll say that I think that she would be. I think that I I think that we could be a great couple, but I also think that um that I'm not ready to have somebody. So I'm not going to pursue it, but I also won't like. I so won't you're open if it, it comes, yeah. but you're not going to actively pursue. Yeah, because okay. like, okay, so I've I've said this before. If a guy is ready to marry a girl, it doesn't matter what girl he's with. You think so? Yeah. If no. like, so it's yes. not about the one; it's yeah. about the time. No, it, it's about it's about the preparation. If I'm with a girl, uh, if I'm with a girl enough to call her my girlfriend, and we've been together for like a year or two years, right? And I am like the business is doing good. I can I can take a vacation without worrying about money. Um, I can get her the things that she needs, and sometimes the things that she wants. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if if I if I had enough money, where if she were to get pregnant, and I were to financially, uh take care of us and, and we got a place yeah i would i would marry whoever i'm with at that point but i can fully love somebody for eight years be in a relationship with them but if i'm still struggling day to day you know trying to get things going and stuff like that i'm not ready to be mm. that husband for her now also that's my mentality but i, I probably wouldn't ever marry anybody yeah but yeah like well I mean, I'm down to cohabitate or something like that. But, but yeah, it's, yeah, I'd start a family and I, I would, I would get married if I was into getting married, if I was financially and, you know, physically ready for that. Okay. Would you guys, this goes to both of you, would you guys be open to having kids still at this age no. if you were to see a younger person? No. I'm, I'm actually more excited to have a, um, have a grandkid. I, heard, I mean, I hear yeah. that's the funnest, you know. Like, but. 
because like okay like let's uh, sorry to keep bringing her up but like let's say if me and Sue's got together mm-hmm. her her daughter is what 14 yes so if in a couple of years if we were to date we would be uh what's it called um uh dinks dinks yeah so so our kids would be at that point where we don't have to worry about them anymore oh, right. Right. dual right. income no kids oh okay so oh, yeah okay. and then and then we'd be we'd both have financial responsibility we're both young enough to like do whatever we want right or smart, old enough to do whatever we want, uh, smart enough to do it right, young enough to do it good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, if we wanted to take a, a cruise somewhere for like a week, two weeks, whatever, if we wanted to go like whatever, we could do that. Mm-hmm. That's what so, so let me, let's get, let's go back to, to Sue's, right? Yeah. I mean, cause we're men. Sorry. Sorry, Sue's. Sorry, Sue's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were but, the uh, example today. Yeah, you were the example today. <laughs> yeah. What would you? What would be your perfect date with her? Yes, I was going <laughs> to ask that. You read my mind. Perfect date. Like if you were to plan it, if and she probably, you know what? To be honest, she's probably not fucking listening to this. No, anyway. she's probably not. And she was just like, you're just like cheering yourself on. Or, like, yeah, that was a fucking amazing date, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what would it be? As soon as soon as she probably heard her name, she probably like cut it off or well, whatever I mean, no she, but she she's, doesn't listen to this our is podcast. the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. Ari's probably going to clip it. Yeah. I never clip names. names. Do you notice yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I never, never clip, clip names. names. You can I'm bleep nice. it out, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> no, no, the editor's not going to bleep anything <laughs> out. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about her. She could, she could bleep it out. Nah, man, I can. I hardly have time to do the clips. She can barely do the clips. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm struggling so yeah. hard with those. Okay. See, so it's it's the hard. Perfect date. It's hard for me to have a perfect date with her because I don't know. But so the perfect date for you, your perfect date. I'll just go Barnes and Noble and read. With your girl? Yeah. I think that that's fucking hilarious. Like, we've, we'll go and read, like, uh, Would You Rather books. I could tell you know? it's not, it's not, she doesn't want the hell, the girls don't want the hilarious. No, I think it's hilarious. I, and, and it's, it's funny. <laughs> no, I'm just try, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm painting to myself make... a word picture, okay? <laughs> well, okay, like, so, I mean, there's. It's okay, so, do what Queer Rich did. Start me from the beginning till the end of this date. Like, he went into, like, I was so impressed, the Getty, like, all this stuff. Like, so, from the moment you pick this woman up to the end, what would, you, and it went your way. Not for well, her, it's going to be so much different from Queer Rich's. It's yeah, I know. Like, so, that's yeah, why I want to hear We're it. going to Comic Con. <laughs> we're both dressed as Team Rocket. As nice. Fucking, I, I, I don't know. That's just off the top of my head. But, I mean. There are some dope things that I would love to do. Um, if if money was no object, I I think that a day in um in New York would be great. I would say like somewhere else, but I I'm not a linguist like Rich. Mm-hmm. I only speak English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can't get by in Korea or mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I'm saying? So so yeah, I think I think New York. I think snow in New York would be great. Uh, ice skating outdoors would be dope. Yes. I think that um, if we Times Square, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, Times Square, where is that? Rockefeller Center. Yeah, yes. Rockefeller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that that would be dope. You know, we get to do something that's that's semi physical, um, and at the same time, it's like, dude, she's cute. I could show right. her off. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Nice dinner, but I would want something that is interactive. Um, like so Korean barbecue. No, not not so much like that's a te- that's a test if she's down to eat with you though. Yeah, that's I, a good one. I wouldn't I wouldn't say Korean barbecue, um, but like something where, like, uh, what was it when they come with those swords and they just um cut it in front of you? It's oh. not a sword, like the, but the like, Brazilian barbecue. Yeah, yeah. I think like that those are cool. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, those are that's yeah good. because yeah. then we have to talk because because a lot of times talking about the menu is like, oh, what are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? I'm not sure. But since the menu is walking around, it's right. like, oh, I want to try that. Oh, we got to get this one next. Mm-hmm. You know, we still have something to talk about during the um, during the dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, and for all you guys that are watch- watching, listening, whatever, ice skating is big to these to us for some yeah. reason because I mentioned ice skating too. Yeah. So ice skating it's somehow the hockey in you. Yeah. It's you know what it is. I really, I really have. I've never seen it snow. You really? I've never. I've seen snow. You've never seen, but I've drop? never seen it snow. The only time I've ever seen it snow was when I was in kindergarten. I <laughs> I remember that shit like it was yesterday. My teacher was like, "It's snowing in California," and we went outside, and I saw the fucking flakes going. And I don't even fucking remember my childhood, but I remember <laughs> that one moment. 
That's crazy. Yeah. Wow, you've actually never like I've never seen it snow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Me but neither. I think that that'll be I, I think it would be great. Um, you know, thinking of of things that would be like picture per- perfect moments and stuff like that. I think that that would be dope mm-hmm. to just see like to hold hands, to be ice skating, have a gigantic tree, you know. I think that that would be cool. That's so cute. Wearing red Wearing red, you're wearing so red, cute. and then and then she would have like, uh, I, what are those called? Those those pea coats or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a white one. I think that that would be sick. That is okay, ladies. See, he doesn't hate women completely. Like, there's still a softy in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there is. You just got to bring it out of me. Just got to bring it out of him. Yeah. All right. So, what would it take for a woman to bring that out of you? Ask. But like, okay, so say you're talking to a girl. Mm-hmm. What are some things that kind of make your you know, your head go up and you're not, not down there, <laughs> just like your ears and your, your mind like, oh, wow. Like that was kind of impressive or, oh my God, mental note like that. I, I pay attention to those things and attention to detail. Okay. If, if a girl gave me the gifts that Rich gave me, like, yeah, it's like, that's a keeper. I love that. Yeah. Cause, cause if, if she were to get me those gifts, I, I know that she understands my my sense of humor, sense of humor, my sarcasm and stuff like that. Um, That's why I said you were you were gay for him. I was <laughs> like, Are you sure you're not dating? <laughs> uh, he, he says Sue's, but he actually means me. And that's that's code word for rich guy. Yeah. yeah, my new host on the Grab It podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be the grabbing podcast. <laughs> oh, they can't see my hands. <laughs> So on that note, speaking of um, girls and like nice things and nice dates, what's like the best thing someone's done for you? Say thank you. No, like something that a, a girl or an ex or something that was like moving or like really touching, you know, other than touching you. No, that, that's honestly the best thing is to like to be appreciated. Like, so, like, was there something specific that someone did that made you feel really appreciated that, like, um, when you think of a fond memory as far as, like, relationship goes? I think that the Vegas girlfriend was, um, she she said the nicest thing to me where when I went to Vegas for, for I think I was DJing, um, I hit her up. I was like, do you, do you want anything from from vegas because i know that you get homesick and stuff and she had to work so i was just like do you want anything from vegas so i could bring home and what she told me was you don't have to do that because home is wherever you are Aww. and so i was like oh okay that's like that made me feel warm and tingly that's you so know? cute did you tell her that yeah i told her that eventually if I, but not in the moment well not, i'm not gonna say that over the phone i like, wanted to tell her that in person you know what i mean I'm just trying to pull out the soft side of Vince, you know, I'm pulling it out because Mr. Robot over here. <laughs> well, I, I can't answer those things either. I know. People could tell me that shit and I'll be like, cool. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll leave a thumbs up. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And then a thumbs up emo. <laughs> like, I would stop talking to both of you guys at that <laughs> moment. I'd be like, these fucking emotionally unavailable motherfuckers. I'm emotionally unavailable in text. You know what? That drives me crazy when people do that. But I know you, well, I know you two, like you're not in a relationship with me, so it doesn't bother me. But when I'm talking to someone, when they're like, what? Because you see how I text. I text like I talk. They have to be paragraphs. They have to be like conversational, which is why I have a hard time just responding really quick. Because I'm like, I hate when people are like, yes, tomorrow, 8 a.m. I'm like, well, tomorrow we're going to, you know, like, it has to be like a fucking paragraph. So when people do that to me, this has to be some kind of like childhood trigger. I feel like they don't want to talk to me. Like it's a girl thing. Yeah. No, it's not because I know a lot of girls that text like that too. And I fucking hate it. Like my, my girlfriends, we have one group, one girl in our group that texts like that. And I'm Are like, her bubbles green. No, <laughs> but <laughs> you would think, right. But I have to remind myself, like, she's not mad at me. This is just the way she texts. Right. But I feel deep down inside, I feel that still. But I, but because I'm like, I don't make a big deal of anything. I don't say yeah. anything. But I have to tell myself, like, this is a you thing. This is not a them but, thing. But sometimes it's like, I want to answer right away because I don't want to feel like I left you hanging the whole day mm-hmm. to write a paragraph. Mm-hmm. So if you, so if you're saying something, blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, that means I saw it and I responded right away. So that's, that's my way of telling you I'm paying attention. See, I get that because you are men, so you see it from that very logical standpoint, right? 
and it makes sense. You're right. It's logical. Mine is definitely more like on the like, I want my response to be meaningful. I want my response to mean something. And if I don't have time to give them that meaningful response, then they know that I'm busy. Like you should know me well enough to know that the only reason why I wouldn't be responding is because there is actually something yeah. happening. You know. Well, I mean, if somebody asks me, if somebody texts me a message, right? Are we doing anything Friday, Saturday? I'm like, not that I know of. End of story. Like I don't have. I don't have anything to say after that. Oh, I mean, well, that, that's for, for me, that's a whole different ball game with the scheduling because Akrite's schedule and then the one car and all of that, I can't answer that shit. I have to like go home, look at three different calendars. So <laughs> mine's a whole different story when it comes to that. <sighs> okay, my daughter's calling me. Okay, okay are we done? No, you can no. Uh, ask him more. I have to take this call. Sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry, I wouldn't. She doesn't usually call, so. So, um... Ask me all the questions that Ari wishes she look how she walks in front of all of the cameras. <laughs> she's she's just kind you, of, no. I know this is gonna piss you off, but can you cut to every single time that she's <laughs> every yeah like kick kick yeah and like back and forth. There's an empty seat here. Yeah, Liz. Liz well, is, they're Liz. they're putting me on the spot. If you if you want to ask any questions, this is the time. Right. We <laughs> should run away. So with with have you guys been talking? We've had conversations. We haven't no. been talking. Yeah, like I like I I honestly don't think that she would even go for somebody like me. So like it's I'm already convinced that it would be pointless. <laughs> Why? Well, only because she she has that like I think she uh, has a type that is complete opposite of me. Well, I, I know that type. Yeah. I mean, she's men she mentions it on the regular. Yeah. But I don't think, I mean, hey, I, people have types, but they don't necessarily, like, end up with that type, too. Sometimes you're just like, oh, whoa. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it, but I'm also not pursuing it. Like, she's, she, like, I had my original um, uh, opinion of her. And and I think that like it, it's it's different now. Yeah. And and I think that she would make a fantastic friend. Um I just don't I also don't see us doing anything that requires a friend. You know what I mean? Like like she probably wouldn't be the person to go to a, like a monster truck rally with me. Um she probably probably I mean you got to ask. You never know. But I don't want to ask because then it might be a date. You know, but if like we're all going and it's like, yo, let's go. like if, if people actually showed up to my birthday, I probably would have hit her up. But she was watching a basketball I game. Know, man. If, you, if you like her, just ask. I well, mean, that, that's the thing. I, It's oh, sorry. It's not it's not out of the question to say or to to title it me liking her. However, I wouldn't define it as that. Mm. And I, there's no like, there's no nice way for me to say it. There's also no bad way for me to it's say like it. an infatuation. It kind of it kind of lingers there, but it's like not really there. Kind of like more like a, ah, uh, maybe yeah. Uh. I I don't. I wouldn't say that I'm infatuated with her. I really appreciate her. <laughs> um, but uh, who are we talking about? I'm talking about Suze again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We should on. just title this episode Suze. A message. <laughs> a message to Suze. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be like, uh. I'm gonna She's tell her to watch this episode. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get blocked. She's gonna like. Oh, no, this might be your foot in the door. Why does it sound? No. Did I unplug something? It sounds different. Oh, I don't know. Okay, doesn't right. matter. Yeah. Anyway, what well, questions did you ask while I was gone? Yeah, he was asking yeah. more questions about Sue's. Yeah, I was asking. <laughs> <That's more>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you held it down with the Sue's question. I mean, I was just curious, like you know. Okay, she doesn't want to be on camera, but Liz, do you have any questions? Should should we interesting should, seeing as you therapy me all the time? Should I hook up a mic? Should I hook up the mic and bring it over there? Uh, you, can you put the Darth Vader filter on it? <laughs> <laughs> I say she just comes on. Yeah, I say I say we should shoot the, the one of the cameras that way. Yeah, and then <laughs> she's all hiding in the corner. No, <laughs> hey, pull the screen forward, and then we can have you behind the screen with a silhouette. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sunday behind the lens. <laughs> All right. So, if you were granted three birthday wishes, any wishes, what would they be? Uh, 
Just the unlimited money. Okay. I honestly, I don't need anything other than that. Unlimited money is nice. Yeah, unlimited money. I can. Well, take just because you could do so much with it. Yeah, you could do everything with that. Like I could buy so much time. What about health? Because what if you had unlimited money, but then you had like bad no, health? No, because I think that health is earned. So I would have more time to spend in the gym, more time to like uh, prep my food. Or yeah, but or you can't like, you can't like prep cancer. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> things like that. Like well, I mean, like I can. I, okay, if that. Is, no, because everybody's going to die. I'm. I'm. I don't think that it's fair that I get to choose the way I die. Or if I can, if I can make a wish, I wish that the way I die um, benefits somebody else. You That's know what I one. mean? I like that. So, like, if I'm if I'm saving somebody from a burning building, or if like I push somebody off the way of traffic and I get hit instead, that's I'm completely cool with that. You know, if I take a bullet for somebody, I'm co- completely cool with that. So, I think that that would be my second wish. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the unlimited money, like your kids would be taken care of, your house would be paid off, you would have multiple cars that you can drive so that I don't have to pick you up from Pacers. Damn, you know hella fucking called out. That's fucked you know? up. But at the same time, like, come kick rich, his ass. <laughs> rich can, can quit his job and he can just do YouTube full time or yeah. do what uh, any content creations that he wants to full time. Yeah. We would own Fry's Electronics or yeah. the old Fry's Electronics and we would just have yeah. like ridiculous like paintball fights for no reason. And it was like, oh, you got it on my other favorite ferrari it's like <laughs> we oh, would literally be those youtubers that have enough money to do whatever right. the fuck they want yeah. yeah but i mean like like all the cameras would always be set up and we'd have the best cameras you know mm-hmm. we would have the best setups we would have assistance so we can enjoy our time with the people that we love um and and not have to worry about all of that stuff yeah i'm glad he said unlimited supply of money instead of all the money in the world because then i've been like well then if you have all the money in the world there's no businesses to actually yeah youtube the, how it. literal you two are as men <laughs> <laughs> i was like if you had all the money in the world then who's gonna that's what you think of who, that who's gonna run the restaurant that you want to eat at because there's yeah, no money they're not getting paid yeah yeah <laughs> my mind would have not even gone there but i see your point right. it does make sense I mean, you're correct yeah Oh, wait, I lost it. I had a question, but I, it went, so I forgot it. <laughs> There's a, yeah, it's, it's for me, that's why. Okay, what's the best piece of uh, advice someone's given you in your this many years of life? The best piece of advice that you can go back on, that you've kind of held on to and kept in your back pocket? Um, I, I don't know. I, I really have no idea. Really? Yeah. What about, what is the best piece of advice you think you've given someone? Um, Don't show your emotions. It can always get better. Wait, say it again. It can always get better. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. That, that humbles you because you might think that you're the best. No, it could get better. And it might be somebody better than you. And you'll see that. Um, but it can also mean that you're in a bad place. And but there's something to you look can, forward to. Yeah, you can always... Dang, that was a good answer. Okay, Vince. Yeah. Okay, DJ. You know what the problem with that, though? A lot of people can't take that that uh, that bit of advice. It could only be better. No, because a lot of people like to live in their misery. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know a couple of people like that, where it doesn't matter what piece of motivational advice or tidbit of, you know, inspiration, they just have something negative to say back to it, you know? Like, I can't... I get so frustrated when people are doing that. I'll be trying to encourage them, and they're like, yeah, but... Yeah, but I'm like, well, do you want, like, why are you talking to me then? <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and bitch with you, you know? Like, yeah. So I like that. I like that a lot. So we all know you DJ, right? Mm-hmm. So you can, you can clip this. Okay. Top five DJs all top time five, for you. Top five DJs. Uh, does it have to be in order? No. Okay. No, it's no specific order, just five. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, these styles. Melody, Miles Medina, um, hmm. I would have to say Rated R. Um, one more. DJ AM. Yep. Okay. Cubert doesn't make the list. No. 
I mean, like, so I the the reason that I say those is because those are all expressive DJs to me, um, and like like I do I do photography. In San Diego, probably in in the U.S., I'm one of the top technical photographers because of the training that I have. I'm I'm you know I. I have a lot of experience with it, but I might not be the most artistic person. So I wouldn't even consider myself a photographer because for me, I'm, I just get lucky with pressing buttons and, and because I know how to work equipment, I can make it look good. But to me, photographers can create a photo. You know what I mean? They, they create the art, Mm -hmm. you know, like there's, there's, there's people that, that play music as a DJ and then there's people that play with music, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I, I love Hubert. I think that he's a great guy and I think that he's a pioneer and one of, and is actually the most important DJ of all time. But his technicality takes away from like the soul for me mm. but then if you listen to mm. these styles you may not be as technical but the way that he just grooves with it it's it, you know it's a vibe there's no like spirit i guess like yeah. there's no feeling mm-hmm. it's yeah. more cubert's te- more like robotic yeah while you're getting more like am where you like you didn't know where he's taking you yeah i you feel know? that yeah. yeah i totally understand that yeah i keep <laughs> <laughs> i think because i'm i have a headache and i'm not feeling 100 i keep losing my train of thought when did you think that you started feeling like an adult, like an official, like, you know what? Yeah. Fuck, man. I'm I'm fucking getting old. Not old, but like. Oh, I still don't feel that way. Yeah, you still feel. I, 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 I was yeah. going to say that, too. Like, I feel like we're a group of adults that don't really feel like adults. That's a good way to phrase it. Because when you sent me that question, I was like, I don't know how to answer, ask that question. Yeah, I really don't think that I'm an, an adult. Like, even my friends that are doing something like successful or, or meaningful, I always tell them, it's like, oh, I, can I give you my resume? I want an adult job, mm-hmm. you know, because even the job that I have right now, which I don't like to say because I don't want them to associate with like the dumb things that I say on here. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that that's an adult job, but I'm, it's so fun that I'm like, yeah that's kind of like what we were talking about when we were walking to the car to come here how like we don't even feel our age yet i still feel yeah. young at heart yeah I, i'm more immature than like some of my daughter's friends <laughs> yeah. so speaking of that what is the most daring thing you've ever done most daring thing i've ever done uh is this like a, a with any anything it could be sports wise it could be like acrobatic wise it could be in the bed wise Mm -hmm. the most daring thing you've ever done the first okay so the most daring thing i've done physically is i the first time i ever attempted to do an air flare was at an actual battle at uh (laughs) yeah at in high school and i pulled it off and i was like holy shit i did it but it was just the adrenaline i was like okay cool so you uh, never did it again after that? No, I I did it after okay. that. Okay, um, <laughs> like the, the adrenaline just got him up. <laughs> and then that was it. Yeah. Well, for those that don't know what an air flare is, <sighs> it's hard to explain. It's just like that. It's a yeah. a break dancing yeah, move. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Google it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Do sec- you know what an air flare is? Oh well, yeah, well hip hop connoisseur uh, over here. <laughs> sexually would be um I had uh sex in the Mission Valley Mall in front of the movie theater um in a kiosk. Mm. Oh. Um, the AT&T Cuz at first I was like, okay, no. okay, in a kiosk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? No, there's also that time that um my ex-girlfriend got drunk at a party, so my girlfriend and I drove her car so okay, so it was it was my ex girlfriend's car. She was drunk at the party, but we're all friends. So I was driving with my ex girlfriend drunk, knocked out in the back, and then as I was driving home, my current girlfriend or the girlfriend at the time was mouth sexing me while I was driving. <laughs> mouth sexing. Yep. Okay, so just to paint the word picture, your current girlfriend was driving. 
with no, you. No, no, I was, I was. You were driving. I was driving. Okay, so she you was were passenger. driving. Your current girlfriend was passenger, and your ex girlfriend was in the back, fucked up. Yes, and it was my ex girlfriend's car. <coughs> oh, so you were driving your ex girlfriend's car. Yeah. So you got head in her car by your new girl. Yeah. Damn. So I was. That was good. What else? I mean, daring. Um. I hope in this business. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty daring. No, yeah. it is. Any kind of entrepreneurial yeah. type of venture, I feel, is daring. Yeah. Good. I once walked into Walmart through the exit side. Okay, can I tell you? That's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> <laughs> what? Walking through the exit? Like walking in through the exit. Akright makes fun of me all the time because, like, you know how, like, some places it doesn't matter? Like, you could just go in yeah. and out on either side. Mm-hmm. If one says entrance and one says exit, it drives me insane when you go inside through the exit door. I don't know why. No, you know what you pisses me off is when people. I probably. When people don't signal. That's like the biggest pet peeve. So, so that's like the equivalent of that. Because I'll be like, yeah. go in through this side. And he goes, why? <laughs> and I'm like, because it says entrance. And he's like, but everyone's walking through this door. And I'm like, but this one says entrance. You, you know why that is, though? I can tell you why. God, what? Because you have trauma from <laughs> some from people trying to <laughs> enter through your exit. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> the story that I told. <laughs> don't, don't, don't enter through my exit. <laughs> Enter to the entrance. I'm going to be like, babe, I got it. <laughs> now I know why. <laughs> we solved the mystery of why I can't go through the exit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Let's see. How long is this episode? Well, how long has it been? I don't, I don't know. know. You're going to cut a lot out. Oh, damn. We actually hit an hour. Okay. Oh. So I have one last question then. Okay. Um, I wasn't scared of any of these questions. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. We... <laughs> We if, if, if we were so gonna inter- within an hour, if we were know? gonna interrogate it, it'd be like it would seem like we were just piling on. Yeah. Oh. And you and you'd sit there and be like, the fuck's going on, you fucking assholes. Yeah. I wanted to go like real like raw, but you know, I wasn't sure if you're gonna be like, Why is this bitch asking me these fucking personal ass questions? No, it just fucking- it just seemed like an interrogation. Right, like, right, right. When that's I was doing I was like, that's why I was like, Well, let's get let's- Enough of the sad <laughs> shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> This shit was like, damn. Okay, I'm done. I'm I'm done for whatever. Is this is this a uh, last? No, what, what? <laughs> she said, ask him. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Okay. Oh come. <laughs> she's like, I don't need to ask questions. I Look, know. Okay, she's info. not on the mic, so she, no, they won't know. Between the two girls that you know of, which one do you think that I should date? See? She's none. giggling. See, she, she, she said, said none. Yeah, she, she said, said none. none. Yeah. Dang. Wow. Why are you so scared? Yeah. You should be over here and explain why. You know you're okay. about to be on the next recording with your husband, right? <laughs> she said, <Yeah>. what? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> not today. I, I voluntold you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just, so just so our special guest that that is off to the side, she's also expressed that she wanted to do a... um Speed dating. Yeah, speed dating for me. <laughs> right. So if any of you girls are that desperate or want to piss off your parents, right. hit her up. We're going to have a special yeah. episode of Be Uplifted where we put Vince through. And they're going to be hiding dating. behind the, I don't, the partition. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I'm not scared of it. I'm I'm down for it. I'll even take it seriously. Mm, we'll see. I'm We're going to have to start scouting some <laughs> girls soon here. Oh. All right. This time I get left out, but that's okay. I, I, I get it. You're already I get you're, it. You're, I, you're already, I, you're already I get handling it. it. I get it. <laughs> He's I like, bitch, it. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna edit that part. I know. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> He's like, I don't want to edit anything. Let me edit that part. <laughs> <laughs> Just like real life. Leave it in. <laughs> no. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What what would what would you want done to you? <laughs> for your birthday sexually, what's your favorite sexual f- favor treat? Fantasy. Fantasy for your birthday. Wow. See, she knows Golden Gate Bridge. No. Um. Wow, what? San Francisco. Huh? What you want to do it on the Golden Gate Bridge? Or no, is, Golden is, Gate is that Bridge the is the name of a like position. Oh, the position. Yeah. 
other position. I'm uh, just if, making if, sure. If he, tried to do it, if he tried to do it on Golden Gate Bridge, there'll be so many cops there thinking he's going to commit suicide. <laughs> 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 it's like Coronado Bridge. You just stop your car and get off. No. Everyone thinks, yeah, yeah, I know. That shit scares me, Coronado <laughs> Bridge. Oh, my God. Yeah. The um, height. I wouldn't even be able to get my nut. I'd be like, I'm so scared. I'm so high right now. <laughs> I'm so I'm so scared of heights. You know, when I deliver food over the Coronado Bridge, I get like I have to drive in the middle lane. Me too. Okay, so I've never considered myself like super scared of heights, but then I think I am because every time I drive over the bridge, my knees feel weak, like they feel mm. weird, you know. And then like when I look at the mall, like over like the edge, when it's glass, you feel that. I feel that. Weird. Oh my god, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, I think I'm afraid of heights. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I, I get that feeling too, but I, I just overcome it. I mean, I, I know the trauma because I've fallen off of things, like high things before. Damn. So I know that feeling, but yeah, I just kind of like, I'm, you know, looking down from a, you know, from a helo or whatever thing you're doing, you're like, hey, well, what are you going to do? You're already here. One of my coworkers that I worked with, um, like when I was a teenager, her dad passed from falling off of a ladder while we were working together. Dang. Damn. So that shit traumatized me, I think. I'm like, like, even when I see people climbing ladders, I'm like, oh, my God, it's so high. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, so yeah. how would you want to be remembered? No, you, he didn't answer the question. Oh, no, Golden Gate. Sorry, yeah, sorry, Golden sorry. Gate. Um, you want more? You want to hear no, about no, more no, fantasy? No. <laughs> I, actually, I don't, I don't, I don't mind not being remembered. Okay, but if, okay, but if you're going to be, what would you want them to remember about you? Like your the legacy you want to leave behind. Yeah. There's no such thing as you not yeah. gonna be remembered. Somebody's gonna remember you, but what is that lasting memory for the people that should remember you? Mm -hmm. Like I, your daughter, your friends. I don't know. If anybody were to reminisce on on like knowing me, it would be nice if their first thought or leading into that thought was, I remember learning this because of when Vincent did this or when he taught me this. So like if if I can if I can somehow improve somebody's life or m and somehow make it better and that's what they remember and and it goes forward then that other than that I I'd rather them just forget about me. You know how I'd remember? Oh. Every day on your birthday I'd go, "Oh, look, this is a day Ari and Lonnie forgot to <laughs> greet Vince." Yep. You're a dick. <laughs> yep. I better get some fucking fantastic ass post something next year because y'all didn't say happy birthday to me either. So fuck both of you. <laughs> you so rewinding on that, I went to Ackwright's birthday and waited for her. She never showed up or she showed up when like I had to leave already. Mm -hmm. She didn't invite me. There was no birthday. He literally made, that's the thing. Everyone was like, Akrai had a party. I was like, no, he had asked the club for like a couple of weeks. Like, should we do a Scorp, not Scorpio, what is he? Virgo, a Virgo season thing. And nobody was really trying to do it because it's a Tuesday, you know? And so they said, well, you can make a flyer if you want. So he made a flyer, like I think that night. And he's like, do you want to come to the club? And I was like, well, who's going to be there? And he's like, I don't know, nobody. He literally said that, nobody. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he told me you were there. So I started getting ready. Mm -hmm. But by the time I could get my kids down and everything, you were already leaving. Like, that yeah. was literally when I figured out I was going to go. I didn't even know. I left early. Yeah. And that's the thing is, it, since it wasn't a birthday <laughs> thing, because even his friends were like, oh, shit, you had a birthday thing? And he was like, no. Like, it was just a last minute flyer. Right. Because I figured, like, why, why I not? I didn't even see the flyer. He, he made it. I think he posted it, like, that <laughs> it night. It was also on the billboard. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. I was like, I fucking didn't even know. Was it on the billboard yeah, when you yeah, got there? Yeah. Okay. So I know he did. They did that. He took a picture of it when we got there, and I was like, Oh, look at you! You're oh wait, special. no, I didn't go for some reason. Yeah, you didn't go. I don't think I, you weren't there. I wasn't. I don't think good. that it was a Tuesday, or if it was a Tuesday, then then it was like it was a Tuesday or Wednesday. It was like during the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, so I probably just said uh, I was tired or. Uh, yeah. yeah, he sent us a picture of that. The kids were all impressed that he, he had his name on a billboard. He was right. like, yay, dad's on a billboard. But yeah, I think that was all the questions that I had. Yeah. Do you have anything else? I was really expecting a different question. What, wow. what question? Well, what, what so, question? I'll, so we'll end it on this because <laughs> I'm not going to answer it. I really thought you were going to ask, hypothetically, what would it take for you to date Jasmine? Good night, everyone. <laughs> Dang. Damn. I should have asked that. Good oh, no. I already... Wait, wait. No, don't, don't stop that, though. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you. Oh, shit. What did I do? 
We don't know what Jasmine he's talking about. Well, I knew oh, that. Oh, shit. 